All right, well, we got the boat back home. Went pretty smoothly. Now that we've done it a couple times, it's definitely not as stressful. Yeah, everything looks good. Really not much growth on the hull. There's a few barnacles down here. I think that we weren't able to get bottom paint down there. So in that one spot, there's some barnacles. Prop looks good. I did notice that it has some uh, play in it. So these nuts aren't tightened enough. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I guess it didn't hurt anything. If anyone was wondering, I had some comments previously about this being facing the wrong way and uh, didn't have any issues with it, so. What's up guys? So we finally got the boat moved into the shop. It uh, took a little while to get everything organized enough because uh, there's a big open space here and of course when there's an open space it, it just gets filled with shit. Uh, but we finally got it organized enough to get it in here and we haven't really been working on it that much but kind of getting back to the point where we're ready to start back on it so I wanted to give you guys an update. So we still want to try to do a trip this year, um, maybe in the closer to the summer. But um, if we're going to do that, there's quite a few things we need to get done on the boat. We need to kind of make it livable, get a toilet installed, uh, get some lifelines. I want to finish the uh, tow rail and rub rail. And we also had that pulpit made. I'm not 100% sure we're going to go with that one, but it should work but uh, we need to get the tow rail and rub rail finished before we mount that. So another big thing we need to take care of is uh, getting all the electrical stuff hooked up on the mast. All the wiring and everything is there and like uh, this anchor light is all wired up and stuff but I never um, hooked it up so we need to get that all taken care of and we need to go through and label the uh, the wires while we have it down because I never did that before we raised it so that would have been really hard to do with the mast up so that's something we need to get done so up here on deck and on top of the cabin uh, there's a lot of little stuff we need to do but one of the big things is uh, installing handrails there was uh, one set here and then one set on that forward part of the cabin. And we have the old ones, but I'll probably just buy some new ones. They're not that expensive. And we need to add some, some stuff for rigging and like some cam cleats for, the, for some of the lines and stuff like that. But for the most part out here, it's, it's pretty good to go. So down below, there's quite a bit of stuff we need to do to make it uh, usable and comfortable down here. First thing we need to do is finish these bunks to where we can sleep on them. 
And uh, now that the engine compartment is kind of done, I can go ahead and build that out to where that, this bunk can continue all the way. This bunk is going to stop kind of like right here, and that'll be storage. So here in the galley, uh, mainly just need to add some trim and stuff and get the sink plumbed in. I did install this little sink. I don't know if I ever showed that or not. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all ready to be plumbed in. And we'll probably leave this open for now. I'm not going to mount a gimbaled stove or anything yet. We'll probably go with a just like a Coleman camping stove or something for now if we need to cook. And just a lot of like little finishing stuff. One big thing I want to do is uh, get these windows trimmed. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to uh, trim those out. So here's a little trim piece I made. This is just a test piece out of some pine for these little, these little front windows. Um, and I think this is going to work for these. It's just a really simple um, cut out of one piece of three quarter. So that'll work good in here. Uh, I think I might have to do it a little differently for those big windows. But yeah, I'll, I'll show how I made these whenever I make them for real out of some good wood. And I'll definitely show the whole process of the, the bigger windows. So I've been doing some work in here, trying to build out the little head area. Um, I think I'm going to go with this setup for a uh, holding tank. It's not really a holding tank per se, but it will... I got the idea from Dan on Sailing Uma. Um, and they just used a four inch piece of PVC. This is a six inch piece and I think it'll hold like two and a half gallons, something like that. So it should give us a few flushes or maybe four or five flushes. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I think that'll work fine for us and what we need and it'll make us legal to where we can actually have a toilet on here and stuff. And up here, after I finish building this out, I'm going to glass a lot of the stuff in. And then I can go ahead and paint in here. It's already been sanded and everything, so definitely looking forward to getting some paint up here. It's looked like this for a long time. So this is going to be plumbed. Uh, it'll just exit here and then uh, come up kind of above the water line, so I'm not really sure how yet, and then come into here, and this is going to be a uh, anti-siphon valve there. Um, and then this will, it's above the water line, the water line's like here, so it should be able to just gravity drain when you open this through hole down here. So I think it should work out okay. And it's just held temporarily in place with the tie wrap, so I'm going to actually be bolting it to this bulkhead. So yeah, I think that's most of the big stuff. Uh, there's a lot of other small projects that I'm forgetting, but um, I'm excited to uh, keep working on it. All of the like really hard stuff is done, um, and these are kind of the projects I was always looking forward to, uh, like when I first got the boat, but we were never able to work on them. so. Um, it's going to be nice to be able to do some finishing and trim work and stuff like that as opposed to sanding the whole hull six times. But a lot of the finishing stuff, I'm um, not real worried about it. Anything that's cosmetic, um, it's not going to stop us from going on a trip. So yeah, hopefully we can get a lot of this stuff done in the next couple months and we can be ready to go on a trip and go sailing in some pretty water somewhere. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. That's going to be it for this video. Um, please leave us a like, it really helps us out, and subscribe if you're not already. We've got a lot of cool projects coming up, and uh, we hope you'll stick around to watch them. So, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.